Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome from live from Georgios Karaiskakis. I am your Gate 7 international host for tonight, Kostas Lianos, or Kostas with a K if that turns you on. And it is jam packed at Georgios Karaiskakis tonight as Olympiakos are prepared for the biggest game of the season, the most crucial game of the season for Olympiakos so far. Because they need, they need a result tonight against West Ham after after the loss to, to, to Freiburg at home. 3-2, that was that loss. And that miserable 2-2 draw at Batskatopola. Gate 7 have just raised one of the best banners we have seen. They are telling Gate, they are telling West Ham tonight, you died in hell. A lovely little image of, uh, of Leonidas kicking that Persian down the well. And Leonidas' head has been replaced by that of Olympiakos' signature teenager. The teams have come out and we are only moments away from kickoff. Let's go through the lineups real quick. Olympiakos, they are playing with a 4-3-3 formation. Alexanos Paschalakis in goal. Rodine at right back. Francisco Ortega at left back. Panos Retsos with Jackson Porozo at centre back. First time those two start together. This is going to be very interesting. Mati Camara, Sotiris Alexandropoulos, and the, and the returning Santiago Eze in midfield. Daniel Potenz, Costas Fortuny is the captain, and Ayub El Kabi up front. This promises to be quite interesting from Olivia Cos while packing the midfield with two changes from that Panathinaikos game. Poroso coming on for Alexandros Doi, who is suspended because of his red card. And Eze coming on for Masuras. Go to West Ham now. Seven changes from that Aston Villa game. Alfonso Areola in goal. Tilo Kerrer at right back. Emerson Palmieri at left back. Dinos Mavropanos around at centre back with the captain Angelo Bona. Pablo Fornals, Thomas Socek and James Ward Browse in midfield. Kudus, Ben Rama and Ings lead the line. This is huge for Olympiacos as there is no Kurt Zuma Nayef again at centre back. No Edson Alvarez, no Jared Bowen, no 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 Paqueta, no Mikhail Antonio. Let's look at the benches very, very quickly for Olympiacos. Cholakis, Papadoudis, Scarpa, El Arabi, Brusai, Kini, Masuras, João Carvalho, Pepiel, Jovetic, Sol Baiken. And for West Ham, Anong, Johnson, Cresswell, Zuma, Antonio, Paqueta, Corne, Alvarez, Bowen, Aguer, and Mubama. West Ham are going to uh, get us going as they got the kickoff. Please do let me know. If, if I could have a confirmation that you guys can hear me, that would be amazing. Hopefully I didn't say all those, all those things uh, for nothing. It is jam-packed here, guys. Absolutely jam-packed here. This promises... This promises to be exciting. Packed Georgios Karaiskakis, Gate 7, are absolutely ready for this. Everybody's well up for this, guys. Let's see if Olympiakos are up for it as well. And here we go, guys. The game has officially started, and it's West Ham who are getting us on the who are getting us going. It's going to be very interesting to see how they approach this game. They usually like to absorb the pressure here on the counter, but I don't think that'd be a great idea. And here comes Potenz with Eze passing it on the left to Fortunis. This is going to be a huge game for Fortunis, who almost joined West Ham. And there's a lovely ball for Rodine on the right. And here comes across, and it's the first corner kick for Olympiacos. First corner kick of the match. Olympiacos will need some good set pieces to hit a very, very strong West Ham, who, as I said, though, are benching some of their best players because they're probably waiting, they're probably looking ahead for, on Sunday's Premier League clash with the always dangerous Everton, who are struggling to avoid relegation. Here's the header from Retzos, and it's well wide. Well wide, that. West Ham getting it going with Areola. 
The pass is to Kerrer at the, on, the, at the right. on the right, I should say. Mavropanos, Dogbona, the captain for tonight's game. There's Mavropanos again. Ayub El Gabi applying the pressure. Olympiacos are going to be applying a lot of pressure because that is how Diego Martinez likes to play. Classic Spanish manager. That is a lovely ball to Kudus, who leaves it behind to Kerrer. Kudus again. Very, very dangerous player is Kudus. There's the flick, and there's an offside. Some good defending there for Olympiacos, keeping the lines together, keeping the lines as high as possible. Costa Levoyani getting nervous if I got that uh, video of the, uh, of the Coreo and the atmosphere, and the answer is yes, Costa, I got it. Costa Levoyani is an absolute legend who took time off, of some very busy family time, to help me with the mic check. There's a long ball, but it's Costa Sportunis cannot hold on to it. Get it is going to get us going with that, uh, with that free throw down the right. Olympiacos continue with the pressure. Here's Potense trying to find El Capi, but he's stopped by Ogbona. That, would have, that was a clever ball, but Ogbona had it scouted. And Olympiacos again pick it up. There's Mati Camara in midfield, passing it to Francisco Ortega on the left. There's Camara again. Going to need a big game from this one, whose, whose, whose form has dipped, and we see it now. This possessed by Kudus. There's James Ward Prowse. There's Socek. Ward Prowse again, passing it to Emerson. Emerson back to Okbona. Olympiacos need to keep that pressure, need to keep that pressure, but also need to remember to keep the lines together because West Ham are experts on the counter attack. Also, make sure they don't give any ridiculous fouls outside the penalty box because one James Ward Prowse is extremely dangerous with his set pieces. Only one set piece away from surpassing Manchester United legend David Beckham for most set pieces scored in the history of the Premier League. Paschalakis with a long ball. Finds Podence. And Ayub El Gabi. He chases it. He puts the ball down. Ah, it's offside. He's caught offside. Unlucky there for El Gabi. But Olympiacos cannot depend on El Gabi's runs on this one. Because El Gabi is more of the kind of striker that you need to find in a good position. He's the kind of striker that follows the cross from Fortunis. Follows the ball from Podence. He's not the kind of striker who's going to take the ball and move it forward to score a goal. Erling Holland, Holland esque. Mavropanos with the ball. There's Kerrer. There's Kudus. Fortunis on him. Fortunis. There's Fortunis defending. That's something. Still Kudus with the ball. Trying to play it wide on the left. Emerson Palmieri is there. With Ben Rama on his left. This is a dangerous situation. There's a shot, and Paschalakis picks it up. First shot on target. That was, I believe, it was from Ben Rama. I believe that was from Ben Rama. There's Rezzo, Solipiakos playing out back. Ortega following it up. Fortunis. Olympiacos kind of clustered, but there's Ortega with space. Down the left. And there's the corner kick for Olympiacos as Areola couldn't clear it. The fans were calling for a handball, but no chance, guys. No chance of a handball there.
Costas Fortunis with a corner kick from the left. Crowd's coming alive. It was alive before, but now it's coming even more alive. Need a good cross here, guys. There's the cross. Nothing there. Camara is following it. There it is. He got it. Looking for that cross. But has Kerrer on him. There's Eze with a cross. Goes a, ah, the shot there from Rodine. That was very poor. That was very poor. But it's possessed. But Camara picks it up again on the right. Passes it. No. Dispossessed there. West Ham tried to, tried to clear it. Olympiacos still with the pressure. There's Eze. Then nobody followed it. There's Ayub El Kambi tries to follow it. And there's that counter attack. With Kudus down the right. Olympiacos are caught out. Ortega is on him. So is Fortunis. Fortunis doing well with the defense tonight. Still Kudus is looking for that shot. He tries it. And there's the block. Picked up on the left by Emerson Palmieri. Terrible attack there from West Ham as as Kerrer didn't follow up James Ward Prowse's uh, clever pass down the right that leads to a goal kick for Olympiacos. As like is gonna gonna take it real soon and things we're gonna play out back. Rechos is next him, Borozo is next him as well. This is gonna be a very interesting pair here. Rechos has been our standout centre back, but uh, he hasn't managed to find a good partner. Fortunis with a great ball. To Potense on the right. Rodine next to him. Potense follow, pushes forward. Passes it. There's Eze with a shot. And Areola picks it up. Lovely shot there from Santiago Eze. Lovely shot but lacked that necessary power from Olympiacos. It wasn't Eze. Do, do, do pardon me. That was Sotiris Alexandropoulos. The power. There was a very serious lack of power in this one. Uh, but still, uh, Areola had to launch to his left. Easy save though. All in all, there's Mavropanos now at the back. West Ham like to play at back. There's Kudus getting a lot of the ball with Ward Prowse. Now to Kerrer. Mavropanos again. Playing it back. Ayub El Kambi with the pressure. Okbona now. Moving it forward. Olympiacos continuing with that pressure. This is going to be extremely, extremely crucial for Olympiacos. There's, there's James Ward Prowse. Playing down the right now. West, a lot of passes backwards from West Ham as we approach the 10th minute of the match. Mavropanos with a good little cross there. Finds Ben Rama who passes it back to Emerson Palmieri. Have a little go there, those two. Dispossessed, Rodine with a long ball where, where El Kabi is. He follows it all the way to Areola. Areola passes to Mavropanos, down the right, Fortunis follows it. And there's Tilo Kerrer. With Socek, Ward Prowse. Wearing David Beckham's iconic number seven. He never played for West Ham, but still, who else would wear it? And West Ham now are dangerous on the right. Try to create their, uh, something between a cross and a shot. And I think that was Ben Rama who tried this. Basalakis with a free kick now. There's a foul for Olibiakos from Kudus onto Ortega. Porozo, Rodine on the right. That's a free kick for Olympiacos now. West Ham now 
poor passing here in the first minutes, but here comes the Ward Prowse to Soce, who plays it down the right to Kerrer. Kudus in front of him. Passes it to Kudus down the right. Ortega and Fortunis on him. Ortega still, ah, Kudus gets away. Kudus is a very dangerous player, guys. Very, very dangerous player for Olympiacos. Very good runs, very dangerous shot. Very versatile as well in attack. He can play at various different positions. He can play down the wings, he can play at number 10, and he can play as a false nine. Pascal Lakis with a free kick. Socek gets the header from Alexandropoulos. Alexandropoulos is still down. Seems to have hurt his head. But he's up. Thankfully, he's up. There's Ings, there's Camara dispossessing him. Fortunes with a lovely flick. And he moves forward. Gets a good deflection. Keeps on. Still Fortunes. He loses the ball. Should have passed it to uh, Ayub El Kabi. And there's Ortega picking up a sliding tackle from Potense. Still Ortega with Kudus. Kudus gets a Kudus. Kudus. Ortega has struggled with Kudus so far. With Kudus' power. Kudus dispossesses him with some amazing uh, defending. That's going to be an interesting pair right there. Going to depend. This a lot will depend on that pair. So far, Kudus has got Ortega's number down his left or Kudus' right. Is it Fortunis? Back to Eze again. Olympiakos really missed Eze. Huge gap at the back with Ibora also injured. Olympiakos didn't have a number six. Really missed Santiago Eze. Very important that he's playing here. Ortega finds, for, finds Potenza down the left. Potenza needs a good cross. He tries to find Fortunes. Not a lot of, not a lot of bodies when Olympiacos are, uh, are attacking from the wing. Basically only El Cap or Ayub El Cabin. There, there's the cross from Fortunes. Very weak. Very, very poor. Goes out for a free kick. Not a lot of bodies when Olympiacos attack from the wing. Basically just El Cabin. Uh, West Ham have all the... Uh, have all their, 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 their back four inside the area with with Kudus and Ben Rama providing support down the wing to defend while their full backs uh, are in the uh, are in the box. Okbona with a long ball down to Kerr. He finds Kudus. Kudus has been so good so far. Very good positioning. Very good in the air as we approach the 15th minute of the match. Still goalless, obviously. Mavropanos looking somewhere to pass. Passes it back to his centre back partner for the night, Angelo Gbona. There's Emerson Palmieri. Back to Areola. El Campi follows it. Out for a free kick. Olympiacos need to continue that pressure. They need to continue that pressure. I'm not so sure about West Ham's uh, tactic. Tonight, they, they like to do that, they like to absorb the pressure and hit on the counter. But I don't think that's a great idea with Olympiacos and Karaiskaki, considering they've scored pretty much an average of four goals uh, in the league. And there's Potenza down the left, with Kerrer on him. And still not, no support for Potenza. Still Potenza. There's no support, there's no support still. When Olympiacos attack, there are no bodies around the attacker, especially down the wings. There's Palmieri down the left. Plenty of space. Passes it to Ward Brow. Still in midfield, West Ham. Right now. Passes it to Fornals. Socek to Kerrer. There's Socek again. Kerrer down the right. Bona. There's Ward Prowse. Back to Mavropanos. Ogbona. West Ham trying to hold on to that ball. Trying to slow down the tempo because Olympiacos started strong. But still though, Olympiacos are lacking that final ball. Not a lot of bodies, not a lot of support. There's Socek. Back to Mavropanos who tries a long ball which is dangerous. For but Ogbona gets the header to Emerson Palmieri.
trying to attack on the left, West Ham are, but a great tackle, great tackle from Retsos, who finds Fortunis. Olympiakos are going to need to move fast now there, trying to get the ball well, not much there, Okbona picks it up. The ball goes back to... Areola holds on to it. Once more, we see Potense and Fortunis uh, switching sides, trying to confuse the fullbacks and the uh, respective centre back that they got there. Olympiakos get the ball. There's Fortunis. Camara in midfield now with a long ball where Potense is, but Kerrer dispossesses him. It's a free throw for Olympiakos down the left. Potenza waiting for Ortega. Who's going to take the free throw? It looked like Potenza was going to take that to move the ball a little faster. There's Retsos to his center back partner, uh, Porozo. Passes it back to Retsos. Gonna need a really good game from those guys. Camara back to Retsos. Here's Ortega. Ortega, he finds Eze. And a very good long ball to Rodine. Rodine tries to get across. Nothing. Goes out for a free throw. Olivia Kosh are gonna have to be better than that. So far, with some really poor crosses. Areola to Mavropanos, here's Kerrer, back to James Ward-Prowse with a very good long ball, but the Rezos managed to get the header. There's Eze to Camara, still Camara holding on, despite some heavy pressure there, tries to find the ball, doesn't get it, finds Rodine on his right. Olympiakos' game getting a little predictable, place where Rodine is for Tunis, there's a free kick for Olympiakos from a promising position. Those are the kind of free kicks Olympiakos cannot afford to give away on their, uh, on their end. It's a very good uh, position there for Olympiakos, both for a shot and a, a, and a cross down the right. Fortunis of old could have, could have scored that. Rivaldo, for those of you who were around to see him, would have, uh, would have taken his chance. But I think this is going to be a cross on the 20th minute of the match. We made it to the 20th minute. Still goalless. Let's see if Costas Fortunis can change things. There's Fortunis with a cross. West Ham clear. Rodine with a header again tries to find Fortunis, doesn't find him. West Ham on the counter now, they can get very dangerous here, Palmieri. Still West Ham down the left. But Olympiacos dispossess, but it's a corner kick, West Ham's first of the match. And there's where it gets dangerous with one James Ward-Prowse on the ball now. James Ward-Prowse taking his time. This is a very dangerous situation. Olivia, as I said, Olympiacos want to avoid the set pieces. Hard to avoid the cor corner kicks. But let's see. Ward-Prowse getting ready. To hit it with his signature right. Taking his time. Boos around, boos around the stadium. Ward-Prowse taking his time. Maybe the referee wants to do something about it at some point. And there's the cross, very well taken, but Olympiakos clear. Only as far as Ward Prowse on the right, who tries another one, there's the flick, and there's another corner kick for West Ham, their second of the match. we 
Klaus getting ready to deliver this. There's a corner kick. Cleared on the uh, clear on the near post. Still Ward Prowse though. A very bad ball towards the area. Surely Olympiakos can clear. There's a foul for Olympiakos. That could have been quite uh, embarrassing as Olympia, as the as the ball goes to the back of Pascalakis' net. What would have been a, free, a known goal if the referee hadn't called for the free kick? There's Retsos passing it to Alexandropoulos. No, that says it. Excuse me, Retsos back to Pascalakis. There's Retsos moving the ball forward. Heavy pass that, that it just needs to be a lot more careful against uh, such a good Premier League team. Dangerous on the counter. There's Camara. Still Camara. Tries the ball. Really nice pass to Podense down the left. But again, no bodies, no, no support. And that's a free kick or a free throw? Free throw because there was a late deflection onto Podense. No support for Olympiacos. No support whenever they attack down the wing. They have to, for, they have to hope for a promising crossing. But so far, there has been very little on that front from Olympiacos' wingers and uh, wingbacks as well. Uh, fullbacks, I should say. There's Mavropanos. Back to Areola. West Ham still playing out the back. Areola trying a nice little pass to Emerson Palmieri down the left. Olympiacos continuing with the pressure. Gotta keep that up. Gotta keep that up. Ogbona. Mavropanos. We can be doing a good job with the pressure. Very good ball by Mavropanos. We're going to see a lot of those. We see them in the, with the Greek national team. Benarama. There's Poroso, who clears it. Better safe than sorry. And Kabi looking for that header. That's where you missed the Kimio, who knew how to get the ball, put it down, and help the wingers. There's Fortunis, who's going to pass it to Rodine down the right. No, I'm sorry, that's El Kabi. Out of position. There's Potence, who's looking for support. Going to try a cross where Camara is, and he's dispossessed by Kudus, who passes it forward. Ah, that's a very bad ball there. Free throw for Olympiacos, all the way to Diego Martinez. Both of them, both Diego Martinez and David Moyes, West Ham manager, quite loud in the first few minutes as we approach the 25th of the match. Olympiacos now with the ball, Poroso. So far, so good for Olympiacos' centre-back pairing. They didn't have to worry too much, though, so far. Retsos back to Poroso. Still Poroso. Fortunis. Passes it to Rodine. Rodine, still Rodine, to Fortunis. Fortunis with a lovely ball to Rodine down the right. No support, gonna need a good cross. And it's cleared by Kerrer. Still Fortunis. Fortunis looking for that shot, I suppose. And there's Ortega. On the down the left. Passes it to Camara. Camara again. Ah, he needed to shoot that one. The ball is cleared. Poroso now. Got to keep a clear head, clear head there. There's Eze. To Rodine down the right. Back to Poroso. There's Mati Camara. I don't know why I call him Mati Camara. There's no Aikipu Camara on the squad uh, in the squad uh, this season. So just Camara would do. There's Ortega. Passes it to Podens. And he tries a, a ball, but there's Mavropanos. who clears it out for a free kick. That's very poor for Mavropanos. Should have just should have just let it go out for a free kick. Or but Areola also didn't come off his line. So can't really blame Mavropanos for this one. Bit of a miscommunication between the Greek international and Areola. Ortega gets it going. There's Potense down the right. Alexandropoulos, really bad pass from Potense that. West Ham with the ball, but really good defending by Alexandropoulos again. Retsos with the ball. Passes it to Eze. And there's Fortunis and Rodine. We're going to see a lot of that. We're going to see a lot of communication there between Rodine and Fortunis. Fortunis tries to break in. But no, Areola gets in there first. 
Not a bad first half for Olympiacos in terms of possession and pressure and tempo, but that final, that final element is missing. That final ball, that final shot. Arola hasn't really, didn't have to worry really, except with the exception of that uh, weak shot by Chotiris Alexandropoulos. There's Kerrer. Kerrer cannot get it forward, so he passes it back to Mavropanos. Mavropanos passes it back to Areola. Ayub El Kabi continues with the pressure. There's Okbona. Who replaces Zuma as, uh, at center back and as captain tonight. Mavropanos. If Aris was around, it'd be very interesting to see uh, how many touches West Ham's front three have had compared to Dinos Mavropanos and Angelo Bona for that matter. But Mavropanos has been getting a lot of the ball. Haven't seen much from Danny Ings so far. Kudus. We've seen a lot of Kudus. And some good defending there that leads to a free kick for Olympiacos. Fantastic atmosphere from the Olympiacos crowd. There's Retzos, Olympiacos playing from the back. Out the back, I should say. Still Retzos. Passes it to Mati Camara. Camara still with a long ball where El Capi is, but no chance of him getting it unless Mavropanos makes a mistake. He doesn't. Heads it back to Arola. Mavropanos. Passes it to the other side where Emerson Palmieri is. There's Ward Prowse. Back to Okbono. El Capi still with pressure. Potence. Alexandropoulos and Fortuna is in pressure in front. There's a corner. Ward Prowse. But dispossessed. Mati Camara moving the ball forward. Still Camara. Still Camara tries a shot. Deflection onto Okbona and Areola picks it up. Another disappointing finish for Olympiacos, which wasn't exactly a finish. It was an effort. It was an attempt for a finish. There's Mavropanos. Okbona. And a corner kick for West Ham. Third of the match. Hopefully it's not the charm for them. Very lively crowd today. Absolutely lovely. Olympiacos are going to need all the help they can get, obviously. Ward Prowse. Again, uh, all three corners from West Ham down, the, down their left. Another major test for Olympiacos' defense. There's the half hour. What is going on? The referee is stopping the match to uh, offer a few guidelines to... I can't tell from here. I'm, I'm way down the left and right next to uh, gate 7, so I can't really see who he's talking to. And I got no monitor. And we've hit the ha and we're on the half hour mark of the match. Still nil-nil. Olivia goes with the possession and the tempo, but no finish. No final product so far. Gotta do better. Because you can imagine David Moyes bringing in the likes of Paqueta and Bowen in the second half. Mikhail Antonio as well. They could cause some serious damage for Libyacos. There's James Ward-Prowse with a lovely cross. Borozo clears it with his head. All the way back to Kerrer. Who's looking for a long ball to Ward Prowse on the left? He gets the header. Poroso clears it with his head again. Not a bad first half for Jackson Poroso. A lot of questions there for him as to how well he do. And that's a free a free throw for Olympiacos down the left, down the right. Rodine gonna kick us off there. 
Uh, poor there from Fortunis, but he, see, but he holds on. Still Fortunis. Still Fortunis with the ball. And he uh, unloads it to Eze. Heavy pass that, but Paschalakis comes off his line, thankfully. Gotta, gotta clear that, and he clears it. There's Retsos. Retsos, just clear, just, just throw it away, man. Kamara, finds Kamara, that's better. To Ayub El Kabi. Oh, that's a foul from, from Ogbona. Surely not, surely a foul. Referee waves play on, but Ogbona practically hugged uh, El Kabi right there. Let's put it down to a questionable call from the referee, I guess. There's Retsos at the back. Passes it to his partner, Porozo. Finds Fortunis. With a long ball where Potense is. Nice ball that, nice ball that. Still Potense. Still Potense looking to break in and he breaks in. Falls down. Nothing from the referee. Nothing from the referee. As, uh, we need to check that. We need to check that replay because that looks quite suspicious. Poroso still there. Uh, Potense is still down. Which is a good tactic because hopefully that's going to make uh, the referee go to VAR. That's a questionable call there. Potense goes down. Referee says there was nothing there. There was pressure. No VAR check, it seems. Ortega will kick us off with a free throw. Poros, uh, Podence to Ortega. Pass it back to Rezos. There's Poroso. Ortega. Fortunis. Still Fortunis with the ball. Still Fortunis needs to shoot. He shoots. Goal! 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 By Paul Costas Fortunis! Goal by Costas Fortunis on the 33rd minute of the match! What a finish! And a more... This is Fortunis for all, guys! And what a time! What a time for Rodolfo Lacos to get that on the 33rd minute, almost 10 minutes until until halftime. Really bad that for really bad that for West Ham. And so great for Lacos. What an important, what an important goal. And I'll tell you something, guys. Olympiacos are so much better than last season's shambles. They are finding, they're getting better and better each week, still finding their footing and still waiting to click. And I said that before the, before the event. One day, this Olympiacos team will click. Doesn't matter if they get a center back or not. And any night could be the night where they click. Could be, could this be the night where Olympiacos click? Could this be the night against such a formidable opponent like West Ham? But literally are resting quite a few players on the bench, though. And we can expect to see a lot of them on the, on, in the second half. But could this be the game in which Olympiacos finally click? They're showing very good signs with Costas Fortunis with a magnificent finish. Here we go now. Socek with the, uh, with the header. It goes backwards. Inks, Danny Inks tries to get to it. And it's a free kick for Olympiacos. What a wonderful, wonderful goal by Cosas Fortunis. We were talking about goal not leaving any, any space for the West Ham attackers. West Ham made that mistake on the other end by leaving Cosas Fortunis with plenty of space to take a shot. And we know Cosas Fortunis can kill those from that distance just outside the box. Arola could do nothing with his lunch down his right as the ball ended up on the bottom right corner of his net <coughs> what a start the crowd is loving it absolutely lovely 35th minute just 10 minutes until full time until halftime very very important that Olympiacos don't concede so close to halftime extremely extremely close that they do not concede you they need to go to the dressing room with that lead and have West Ham chasing us in the second half they are bound to leave space they are bound to make mistakes at the back because they will need that goal they'll have to stop uh, parking the bus, stop absorbing the pressure, they'll play forward, and they're bound to make a mistake. There's Fortunis again with plenty of space. Will he try another? There's Rodine on the right. We need something good here. Rodine, Fortunis, and the ball goes out. Not so sure if it was Fortunis who got the header. I think it was Fortunis who got the header. He disagrees. And Areola will get us going with a free kick again. What a start for Olympiacos. What a change. What what a first half so far. But still, though, we're going to have to see more of that end product. 
Uh, I don't know if you can hear the crowd, but it's absolutely smashing right now. Absolutely amazing. Mavropanos now. And I need to start catching my breath. That's This is where I need, uh, I, I need a partner. This is where I miss uh, Kostas Levoyansa. Oh, and here we go. With Danny Ings down the right. But uh, West Ham get a free kick. With Kurter getting ready to get us going. Gonna be a deep free, kick, free throw that it seems. Everybody on the uh, in the box. There's Kurter trying to find Ings, but cleared by Kamara, and that is a free throw. Thankfully, not a corner kick. Don't want to screw that up so close to, 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 to halftime. So close to halftime. Olympiacos cannot afford to concede one because then rhythm and tempo will be West Ham's way. There's Kurter with a deep free throw. Going deep there. Bit of a scramble there. And there's a finish by West Ham. There's a, uh, there's a shot that goes all the way up to the crowd, up to the nets. That separate the crowd, that is. If the Nets didn't, they weren't there, one lucky fan would have left with the uh, with a match ball. And what a match that would be for that lucky fan if Olympiacos managed to hold on to that lead all the way till full time. What a, what a souvenir that will be for that Olympiacos fan. The West Ham fans down the right end, uh, they've been, everything has been very chilled. Of course, they're not making any noise. The Olympiacos fans have absolutely overshadowed them. There's the free kick from Pasalakis. Socek gets, a, gets with a header. Nothing to worry about. Poroso passes it to Pasalakis. Exactly, yeah. Kosos Fortunis is uh, tracking back today. Is, uh, is tracking back today, which is quite surprising. Rezos. Francisco Ortega with a heavy touch. He loses the ball there. Can't afford to do that over there. Can't afford to do that over there. But there's a great, great tackle by Rezos, who could be auditioning uh, with all those uh, Premier League uh, scouts keeping a close eye on this one. Could be auditioning himself or maybe a few of them. Kerr with the ball, trying to take the free throw. He finds Ingsy down the right. Ings goes down. Yeah, well, that's a free, free throw for Olympiacos. Nice try there. Ortega going to get us going with that free throw. There's Mati Camara. Still Mati Camara with Potencia on his left. Still Mati Camara trying to, 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 to offload it somewhere. There's Alexandropoulos. He finds Alexandropoulos. There's Fortunis. Very pair, fair, safe pair of hair and legs to keep the ball. Ortega tries to find Potense, but he's stopped by Kerrer. There's Socek back to Mavropanos, still Mavropanos. Passes it to Kerrer down the right. There's Benarama. Playing it down the left there where Palmieri is. James Ward Prowse, Benarama. Socek. Passes it to Kudus, and there is Kerrer, who is stopped by Ortega, and Mati Kamara holds on to the ball, and there's a free throw for Olympiacos. Not a good first half for West Ham, not an excellent first half for Olympiacos, but quite poor from West Ham. But then again, we are going to go to see some of their best players coming on like, uh, in the second half, and it's going to be a completely, completely different second half, guys. Very different for Olympiacos. So brace yourselves. That is why it's ex extremely important for Olympiacos to hold on to that lead until halftime because second half is going to be a completely different affair. That's a free throw for West Ham for Olympiacos, surely? No, it's not apparently according to the refs. There's Socek passing it to Kere, Mavropanos. Still Mavropanos. Still Mavropanos passes it to Ogbona on his left. Ogbona to Ben Rama. Fornals, Benrama having a nice little one too. And there's Socek, dangerous. There's still Benrama. 
Lovely defending that from uh, from Rodine. Olympiacos moving forward with Fortunis. Rodine on his Rodine on his right. Ayub El Kabi on his left. Breaks it, and there's Alexandropoulos. Back to Eze, and back to Poroso. 41st, 42nd minute of the match. Gotta keep that lead, guys. It's extremely, extremely important that they keep that lead. There's Alexandropoulos. Passes it to Eze. Gate 7 asking, Imaste Kala, the opposing, uh, the far end answering no, and they are right, they are not well. None of us is after this goal by Costas Fortunis, and the hope that comes with it, that maybe this is the match where Biakos finally click this season. Maybe Jackson Poroso could be the guy that will play with Panos Retzos at centre back. Maybe that's the pair. Nicolas Freire failed, Andreas Doi failed, maybe Jackson Poroso won't fail. Let's see, we can only hope at this point. Poroso right now, speak of the devil. Holds on to the ball and passes it to Alexandropoulos. Still Alexandropoulos. Still Alexandropoulos. Nice little ball, long ball to Podence. But Kurer gets there first. There's Kudus. Who will be extra dangerous with Jared Poe and uh, Mikhail Antonio and Paqueta on the field. And there it is, still Kudus down the right. He finds Benrama. He's going to try a shot. Well, that shot is blocked. Fortunis, Fortunis needs a good ball to El Capi. Fortunis still needs a good ball to Potence. He finds Potence. He gets first on the ball. Still Potence. And there's El Capi. There's El Capi. But he's too right. He goes too, goes too far wide. El Capi tries a good ball to Camara, who can shoot from there. Camara can have the shot. Ah, there's the, uh, the I, th I, think, I think there was a deflection, but the referee gives a free throw. Or is it a corner kick? No, it's a, it's a free throw. I think there was a deflection there. I think the referee was. I think the referee was wrong. There. The referee got that one wrong. But like I said, I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a monitor to, uh, to double check, so I can't help you with that, guys. Can't help you with that. Keller down the right. Loud boos around the stadium for that uh, corner kick that wasn't awarded. Can't tell if it was. It did seem to me like there was a deflection. It did seem to me like there was a deflection. Okbona moving the ball forward. He finds Ben Rama. Still Ben Rama. Ben Rama down to Kerr again. Very busy down the right, West Ham are, with Kerr and uh, Kudus. There's Ward Prowse. There's Okbona. Back to Mavropanos. Still loud boost. And there we go. Mavropanos loses the ball. And here is Alexandropoulos with Podence on his left. He finds Podence. Gotta move faster. Gotta move faster. Need a good little dribble there. Potence tries the shot, but it's blocked. Out for a free throw for Olympiacos down the left. Let's see what comes of that. Almost the 45th minute of the match, waiting to see how many, um, how much stoppage time we can have. Surely nothing more than three minutes. But let's see. Ortega taking his time. Well, you know, that's an answer to James Ward-Prowse uh, with all his corner kicks. Ortega to Podence, he falls down under pressure from Kerr, still Podence, and it's a free throw for West Ham. Fourth official getting ready to uh, to reveal how much stoppage time we'll have. Surely Olympiakos cannot uh, mess it up like they did with Freiburg. Uh, in the first match, in the first Europa League when we came on that, and it's only one minute, only one minute to go. Olympiacos need to keep a to keep a clear head. There's Camara, still Camara, who finds Rodine on the right. Let's see, maybe one last chance, maybe one last gift, maybe one last surprise before we the, the players head to the dressing room. Still Rodine down the right. He finds Alexandropoulos. Alexandropoulos down the right, dispossessed, but there's Rodine. Will try cross with his left. He tries. Oh, it's a goal! 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 I can't believe this! I can't believe this! What a game! I cannot believe this! What a disaster! What a disaster for West Ham! And what? What? What a glorious moment for Olympiacos! Rodine tried the cross with the left, with his bad foot. Okbona got a terrible deflection. Areola caught by surprise. 
and it'll go, and it'll go, and the ball goes behind his net. What a start for Olympiakos! Unbelievable, unbelievable start for Olympiakos! Just before the end of the first half. This is absolutely amazing for Olympiakos. Absolutely incredible first half. Olympi Olympiakos have not had a better first half this season. Nothing was better than this. Like I said, this could be the match, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the match in which Olympiakos finally click. Jackson Poros and Panos and have been phenomenal so far at the back. And that has been Olympiakos Achilles heel. The centre backs, so far they've been phenomenal. Could this be it? Could this be it for Olympiakos? Only a few seconds until halftime. There's James Ward Prowse down to Emerson Palmieri. Gotta keep, gotta keep that clean sheet. Cannot concede. Cannot concede. Cannot concede. Sorry. He's possessed down the left. Oh, and this is bad here. Ben Rama. And he finds. And he finds. This possessed. This possessed. Surely, yes. Paschalaki saves it. Paschalaki saves it. But that's a corner kick for West Ham. Cannot afford to concede, to concede, to concede guys. Cannot afford to concede. Not now. Not when you're so close. Not when you're so close. Bit of a nail biter, this. James Ward Pass about to take this one, the set piece specialist. Premier League set piece specialist. And it's again down the left. All of their corner kicks were down the left. And here it goes. Again, cleared on the phone, on, 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 on the near post. And that is, that is half time for Olympiacos. What a fantastic, what a fantastic first half for Olympiacos. Their best first half of the season so far. Absolutely amazing from Olympiacos from the lead to Dale. With Costas Fortunis' fantastic shot that broke the deadlock on, the, uh, on 33 minutes. And then Angelo Bona's disastrous own goal in the 45th in the 45th minute of the match. Absolutely fantastic! Absolutely fantastic from uh, Olympiacos so far. Who deserve this lead? Could have dominating possession and tempo in the first half. They were the best team attacking, and I told uh, Will Pugh of We Are West Ham that uh, West Ham cannot afford to uh, to just let Olympiacos attack and absorb the pressure and hope to hit a counter attack. Because Olympiacos are a very attack-minded team that score about an average of four goals per uh, game in Greece. And it seems I'm being proven right. So guys, we're going to take a little break here. We're going to take a tiny little break here. Uh, as uh, I'm going to, uh, as, uh, as we reached halftime. This has been Costas Llanos for you, Costas with a K. And I'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello again, people. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, we are ready for second half. Olympiacos versus West Ham. So far, we have no changes from either side as we get things going in the second half. Olympiacos, of course, with the ball. And here's El Capi. Nothing from David Moyes so far. You would have expected a few changes from him. There's Fortunis. You would have expected a few changes from Olbiaco, from uh, David Moyes to add a bit of attacking uh, flair. Here's Emerson Palmieri. Very good pass and a great tackle from Rezos right there. There's Kudus now. And that's a foul. A foul. That is a ridiculous decision from the ref. That was a, a, a fantastic tackle from Panos Rezos who gets booked for that foul. Dangerous position from Olympiacos. We said that Olympiacos cannot afford to concede uh, free kicks uh, and set pieces from that, uh, from, uh, from that distance. It's Ings who got fouled. Uh, 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 that was Ings who got fouled by Rezos, or allegedly got fouled by Panos Rezos. That's a questionable call from the ref. Again, I don't have a monitor, so I cannot really, uh, really confirm nor deny. And it's going to be James Ward-Prowse who takes this, obviously. West Ham's set-piece specialist. This is a nervous moment for Olympiacos. West Ham would love to get a goal as early as possible right now. Set the tempo in their favor. Still haven't made their changes and have a lot of quality to come from the bench. Let's see, there's James Ward-Prowse, he goes for it, and it's out! A very good take, very good take from uh, from James Ward-Prowse, goes out for a free kick. Barely missed, Paschalaki says, uh, I would say top right corner. A very good launch by Paschalakis, but what a take from Ward-Prowse. There's a warning for Olympiacos, don't give away free kicks. And a bad, a, 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 a bad long ball by Paschalakis as he looked to find the Rodine. It was too high, Rodine couldn't get to it. There's Fortunis trying to get on the back. And that's a foul. And that should be a yellow card by James Ward Browse. But there's nothing from the ref. That is interesting to see how the referee called, to, uh, awarded a foul and broke Panos Retos beforehand for a foul, a, a challenge that looked very clean as he got to the ball, whereas now James Ward-Prowse rather cynically fouled Fortunis and there was no foul there, fouling him from behind. There's Fornals, passing it to Socek, who finds Mavropanos on his right. There's Kudus. He was very good in the first half, Kudus, or because to be very careful. West Ham have started much stronger. I look, I look like a much stronger side so far in the first four minutes of the match. They're doing exactly what they didn't do at all in the first half, and that is hold on to the ball, control possession, great tempo, push forward. But that could be their undoing, as West Ham do like to, uh, to absorb pressure and hit on the counter-attack. So Libyakos might want to, to concentrate on those opportunities they can get to counter and find spaces. There's James Ward-Prowse, here's Ben Rama, holding on to that ball, passing it to Kudus down his right. Kudus with a cross, that's a good one. But Rodine clears it, and it's Fortunis now. Pushing the ball forward down the right, and a lovely little, lovely dribble, lovely dribble. Fortunis is having a ball so far, but, well, that wasn't a good ball, was it? There's Kudus. 
Ward Prowse. Little spin that I'm on. Fortunis, ah, that's a free throw for uh, for West Ham. Fornals taking it quickly. Rezos now, but there is an injury here. The uh, the medical teams are called to call, are called on to the pitches. Jackson Borozo seems to have picked up a uh, seems to have picked up a knock. But the same goes for Emerson Palmieri. Both players they clashed, and uh, they're receiving uh, receiving some treatment from the uh, from the physios. Rodine gets back up to his feet. Thankfully, hopefully Emerson will follow suit very soon. A very good first half from Jackson Porozo. Very important match for him. Quite a, a noteworthy match for Jackson Porozo, who starts for uh, Olympiacos in the Europa League for the first time. That's his first start for Olympiacos, I believe, and that's the first time he starts with Panos Rezos. And so far, so very good for the center back duo. As we saw Rezos struggling with Nicolas Freire and Andreas Doi beforehand. Emerson Palmieri gets back up to his feet, thankfully. Looks like they can both continue. And we're set to get back in action now, with Pascal Laitis now looking for the volley. It does seem like Olympiacos are playing something between a 4-3-3 and 4-2-3-1 so far. There's Mati Camara now passing it to Rodine. Rodine back to Camara on the right. Lovely little flick, but West Ham uh, they get, regain possession. Camara again opens it up for, uh, for Eze, who passes it to the left where Potense is. That's what could come up from that. Potense gets dispossessed by Olympiacos, regained possession. There's Camara who has the shot and he's going to go for it. Ah, that's not a good shot. That is not a good shot from Camara. Very, very poor from Mati Camara who spent last season alone at Roma and there's Jose Mourinho. That is a free kick for West Ham. Areola playing out back for Mavropanos. Mavropanos moving the ball forward. Mavropanos had a good first half. Uh, very composed, good passing, very good long balls as well, which is quite rare for a centre back. Quite rare to find a centre back with a kind of confidence that would allow him to just try a long ball like he was a number eight or a winger. But also now clears the ball out for a free throw for West Ham. Emerson Palmieri to get things going. There's Ben Rama with Borozo on him. Managed to flick it past. Oh, that's dangerous. And that is a very, uh, uh, that, that's a good moment for West Ham with Thomas Socek trying a shot in the penalty area, but sends it wide all the way up to the nets that separate the fans from all the action. Or I should say the each end is separated from all the action. There's Borozo. Passes it to Rodine. Rodine now to Fortunis, who holds on to the ball. And I think he gets a foul. And he does get a foul. Holding to his knee, Fortunis is. That seems all right, thankfully for Olympiacos. Fifty-fifth minute at Karaiskaiki, still 2-0 for Olympiacos. Thanks to Costas Fortunis' magnificent uh, opener. And Angelo Bona. Ogbona's disastrous on goal. Poroso. There's a long ball for Potense, who follows it ah, and gets to Areola. Straight to the safe arms of Alphonse Areola, who plays it quickly to Dilo Querer down his right. There's Kudus. Oh, and dispossessed. Dispossessed El Capi. 
Olympiakos can hit on the counter here. Still El Capi. He has options. Left and right. Pass it to Potence. There's Potence. Really, pa really poor pass there from Potence. Really poor pass from Potence who broke from the left. Olympiakos cannot be caught. Because cannot afford to be caught out. Most of them have returned. There was a good, uh, there was a good cut there from uh, from Alexandropoulos. There's James Ward Prowse. Olympiakos are all back. Danger over for now. Socek passes it to Kudus on the on the right. Kudus looking for that shot. He finds Ben Rama. Olympiakos clear. There's Ward Prowse. Passes it to Kerrer down his right. There's Ward Prowse again. Ward Prowse to Fornals. Fornals finds Kudus. Finds Kudus. Olympiakos is they're dispossessed by Fred Ward Prowse. They regains that possession. Kerrer with a long ball. There's Kudus. On, and there's a corner kick for West Ham. Kudus uh, tried to, uh, to produce a cross from the right. Was stopped by an exceptional uh, block by Jackson Porozo, if I remember correctly, if I saw correctly. Olympiacos need to be careful now that West Ham are, making their, uh, are, are, are finding themselves a lot in their own penalty area. Can't afford to give away another penalty for Olympiacos. Gotta keep, uh, keep level-headed, gotta remain composed. Very dangerous situation. And now there's Ward Prowse with the corner kick. Here's the cross. Here's the cross. There's the header from for, from Fornals, who sends it wide over the net. And a triple change, it seems, from David Moyes. I see Mikhail Antonio, I see Jared Bowen. Who else do I see over there? A triple change here. David Moyes means business right now. We told you this was going to happen. We told you the, uh, the big guns would be entering the fray sooner than later. I see Lucas Paqueta was the other one. Mikhail Antonio, Lucas Paqueta and Jared Bowen then coming on. Here comes Jared Bowen and here comes Mikhail Antonio. So Ben Rama, Ings, and Fornals are out for Bowen. Mikhail Antonio, Lucas Paqueta. Here comes Potense down the left. Still Potense. Potense still with the ball. Flicks it back to Ortega. Ortega with a low cross, but it's picked up by James Ward Prowse. Olympiacos need to, uh, need, need to fix that lack of uh, final product. And West Ham need to fix the passing, it seems. Here's Mati Camara after the earlier dispossession. Here's Porozo. I do have to apologize. It was Danny Ings with that header beforehand, not Pablo Fornals. There's Rodine down the right. Rodine to Costas Fortunis, and there's offside. Rodine apparently was offside, according to. Oh no, it's a, it's a, it's a foul on Rodine, but no yellow card. Olympiacos could have just continued that. He could have just been allowed to uh, continue the attack, which seemed quite interesting. But instead, they get a free kick, uh, a set piece. Down the right, not a bad position for a good, good for a good cross. Fortunis on the ball as always. It's the two number sevens today for each team: James Ward-Prowse and Costas Fortunis. And there's the cross, Poroso. Ah, he gets, he gets the header, but lacks, lacks the necessary power. For, uh, and Areola picks it up. Plays it to his right, where Kerrer is. A 
foul for West Ham on Mikhail Antonio by Jackson Porozo. James Ward proud to take it with a... Uh, is he going to go for it? Is he going to go for a cross? No, he's just going to pass it. Ah, well, it is a good ball from Mikhail Antonio. Jackson Porozo clears it. I think that's actually a free throw for Olympiacos. And it is a free, th free throw for Olympiacos from Rodine. Mikhail Antonio giving the ball away. Rodine signaling to his players that he's going deep with that free throw towards Ayub El Kabi, who's been quite absent so far. You could this match might need Stefan Jovetic later on. And there's a ah just just kept that ball. James Ward Prowse back to Ogbonna. Ogbonna to Emerson Palmieri who holds on to the ball. Passes it back to James Ward Prowse. He's playing quite deep in this second half as a number six, it seems. More like a six rather than eight or a ten. But the camera commits a foul according to the referee again. Not a very friendly referee in the second half, it seems. But then again, here at Gate 7 International, we don't talk about referees, so I'm just going to stop here. James Ward-Prowse, very good. On his right to Kerr, here's Jared Bowen. One of his first touches in the match, James Ward-Prowse. Back to Bowen, on his right. Got to be very careful with Bowen, who is on exception, on an in exceptional goal-scoring form. And remember, West Ham haven't lost a European match I haven't lost a European match in the last 17 outings. So that'd be very interesting if Olympiacos managed to uh, get the full, full three points here against West Ham. Would be another uh, English scout for Olympiacos after beating Burnley, Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester United at Karaiskaiki. Here's Ayub El Kabi, who's gone quite deep. Back to Panos Retsos. He's going to throw a ball to Potense, who loses it, but Camara holds on to it. But it's a foul on Potense. Still no yellow card. That was quite a hard challenge there. Gate 7 going nuts on my left. There's Jackson Poroso. Passe to Rodine. To Fortunis on his right. Still Fortunis. Fortunis holds on to it, Alexandropoulos loses the ball. There's Paqueta. There's James Ward-Prowse. There's Ogbonna. To, to Paqueta. Ayub El Capi picks it up, there's Fortunis, El Capi down the right. That is a foul again on El Capi. Quite a cynical one from uh, Paqueta. And I think that finally we're going to have a booking. West Ham's first booking. And that goes to Paqueta. A rather good position for Olympia. Because Fortunis tried to go quickly. But there was a deflection. Fortun is now on the right. That's a free throw for Olympiacos. It's going to be very interesting to see how Olympiacos fare after Fortunis comes on, because Fortunis cannot finish 90 minutes. Uh, and Olympiacos lacks serious creativity after Fortunis is out. Gotta imagine Pepiel is going to be there. Gotta imagine and hope that Daniel Potenza will be there. Or maybe could this be Gustavo Scarpa's match? He is a number 10 after all, a playmaker. There's Ayub El Kabi still with the ball. Finding it hard there with Lucas Paqueta, will start very strong. Very good defensively is Lucas Paqueta. Who does a good flick there and that's going to be a foul by Alexandropoulos and that's going to be a yellow card on Alexandropoulos. That was well deserved for Alexandropoulos who it was ridiculous holding on to Paqueta like this. Considering that Olympiacos were in, the, in danger of being caught out, Olympiacos were Quite comfortable with uh, West Ham regaining possession. Ayub El Kabi is down there, is down on the pitch. Apologies, that is Rodine. Rodine is down on the pitch. That's not a good sight for Olympiacos, considering that uh, there's not a lot of options for Olympiacos down uh, at right back. Well, there's Kini, 
but Kini doesn't have the same effect that uh, Rodine has on that right wing. He's being he receives uh, he receives treatment, but he seems good to go. Thankfully, back up to his feet. West Ham uh, with Okbona right now. Passes to Mavropanos on his right. And there is Tilo Kerr with Bowen in front of him, but prefers. And there's Stoche. There's Eze. Passes it to Podense. Let's see what he can do with uh, with his speed down that uh, left uh, left flank. Still Podense. Moving the ball forward. Still Podense. With a pass. There's El Capi. Too many bodies in front of him. Too many bodies in front of him. He retreats to his left. Looking for some support. He finds it on the uh, he finds it in Potense and there's Camara. Camara down his right to Rodine. With Fortunis on his right. There's Fortunis. And there's a foul again on Fortunis. Surely another yellow. And it's a yellow card to Kerrer, I believe. I believe that's or is it or is it Emerson Palmieri? It must be Emerson Palmieri. I do apologize, guys. My view is uh, is a bit obstructed where I'm sitting, and there's no uh, there's no monitor as well. Olympiakos get a free kick from the same position down the right. Hopefully, Fortunis won't try to be too clever right now. Fortunis is going to take this one. Playing it uh, with each other. There's Fortunis. Passes it to Potenza. Needs to shoot. Doesn't shoot. There's Alexandropoulos. Tries to shot. There's a deflection and it's a free throw for Olympiacos. And it was Emerson Palmieri with that yellow card. A free throw for Olympiacos down the right. Fortunis. Looking for that space for that uh, for that cross. There's Mati Camara. Still Mati Camara. He's having a good game so far. Needed or needed a good game from Camara. There's Ortega on his left. Holding on to the ball under pressure from Jared Bowen. There's Retsos. There's uh, Jackson Poros. I don't know if you can hear me. Karaiskaiki has come unglued right now. Absolutely lively. I don't think I've ever seen Karaiskaiki so lively. I don't think I've seen Karaiskaiki that lively as a, as a spectator myself or as a journalist. I think that's the record right here. Pasalaikis. Two Retsos. Still Retsos moving the ball forward. Eze, who's had a great game and showed us exactly how much Olympiakos missed him against Panathinaikos. Been running uh, the midfield and a fantastic anchor between defense and midfield. Absolutely amazing player. Those Premier League scouts here tonight might want to make a, a note of him. Panos Rezos and, uh, and Jackson Poros and uh, Santiago Eze have had quite the match so far. And maybe, you know, why not Jackson Poroso? You know, if he keeps it together, same as, same as all of them, really. You never know. You never know how tomorrow is going to go. Eze, back to Pascalakis. As we approach the 70th minute. There's Porozo. Camara, Porozo. Alexandropoulos. Mikhail Antonio getting rather uh, frustrated. Fortunis with a lovely ball down the left. Scouting Ortega's run. Ortega, he finds Podence. Needs a good ball and there's nothing. That was like something between a cross and the shot. Not a great game for Daniel Potence so far. Good, great runs down the wings, but no end product whatsoever. I mean, you think about Gary O'Neill probably seeing this, and uh, you imagine he's not really missing Daniel Potence right now, especially after the way Wolves are carrying themselves. Despite all their financial problems, they, I mean, very good results. Beat Man City as well. The treble winners. Alfonso Areola now with a, with a free kick. Antonio tries to pass it back, but there's Poroso who passes it back to Paschalakis. Paschalakis on his right to Rodine, who just manages to miss, to miss the ball. It's a free throw for West Ham that Paqueta will take. Yes, he will. To Emerson. Paqueta. Still Paqueta. 
dispossessed. There's Fortunis. By Yubel Kabi, who's going to race Angelo Borna. He has no support on his left, though. West Ham are back. Ayub El Kabi, he will have still El Kabi. He needs to pass back to Fortunis. He needs to pass back to Fortunis, but instead he passes it to Alexandropoulos. He needs to shoot. He shoots oh, and he just misses. He just misses Areola's top left corner with a fantastic shot. Absolutely fantastic shot. We know Alexandropoulos could do it with uh, just outside the box. He did it with Genk, a very important game that punched Olympiakos ticket in the Europa League playoff qualifying stage. A free throw for Olympiakos down the left after some really bad passing from West Ham. 70th minute on Karaiskaki, Olympiakos, West Ham 2-0. But one goal by West Ham could, change, could turn things around in, the, in a blink of an eye. But not bad from Olympiakos so far, but still, once Costas Fortunis comes out, Olympiakos will be in trouble. Unless they can find someone else to carry on his creativity. That's where you need Pepiel, in my opinion. Playing him in the number 10 spot, and he can do wonders, in my opinion. Daniel Potence hasn't been stellar in this, uh, in this match. Could this be the match that Gustavo Scarpa stands out? Could this be the match that makes Steve Cooper think, I want him back in January, not June? Well, one could hope. One could hope. Don't hate me. Another change for West Ham. It is a double change this time. Who do I see down there? Who do I see down there? I see Maxwell Cornet. And I also see Edson Alvarez coming on. Replaced by Kudus and James Ward-Prowse, it seems. Edson Alvarez. And Olympiakos preparing a change now as well. First change of the match for Olympiakos. Antonio is following the ball and it's out for a free throw. And here comes Kini. Olympiakos bringing on Kini, who I guess is going to uh, he's either going to replace Ortega or, or Rodine. Rodine has had a good match, but I wonder if that knock earlier on had an effect on him. Not a great game from uh, Ortega, but he did struggle with Kudus defensively, but Kudus is out of the game now. So, offensively he wasn't bad though. Paschalakis with a long ball, with a free throw. There's Eze with the, with the header. West Ham respond with a header of their own. Jackson Poroso beats Mikael Antonio in the air. And the ball is finally done, but what is this? What, what, what is the referee doing? What is, a foul? Okay, whatever. Why not? And there's the, uh, there's the change. Rodine comes off. Rodine comes off. A very good game for Rodine. Absolutely dominated the right wing, did uh, Rodine. Rodine taking his time leaving the pitch. Should do. The referee is on him, telling him to make it quick. Never seen a referee telling a person being substituted to make it quick. Rodine hobbling off. He gets a standing ovation from the crowd that he absolutely deserves. Absolutely bust the right wing, I would say. Gave uh, Emerson Palmieri all sorts of problems, I would say. And here comes Kini, who has some huge shoes to fill, especially if, of course, as Fortunis comes off. Because then Olympiacos's right wing completely changes and probably weakens as well, as we are in the 70th, 75th minute of the match. Plenty of time for West Ham not only to score, not only to equalize, but to, uh, to win, I would say. West Ham, a fantastic club. A revelation, Corne chases a ball, but Fortunis gets there first, Rezus gets there first, and it is a corner kick for West Ham. Olympiacos cannot afford to lose their focus. No James Ward-Prowse right now, that is the uh, that is the good news. Lucas Paqueta will be taking this one.
There's the cross from Paqueta. Jackson Poroso clears it. Very good game by Jackson Poroso so far. Very, very good game. After the end of the game, West Ham fans are found in line to remain in the state. Jackson Poroso again with a clear is inside the penalty box. What a game this young man is having. What a game. Absolutely making uh, making his mark here for Olympiacos and proving he should be the one playing with Rezos at center back. This possessed Alexandropoulos. Mati Camara with the ball. There's Fortunis. Needs to clear the. Ah, took too long. Poroso passes it to. To, to Kini, and there's a foul, and there is a yellow card to Mikhail Antonio. Another cynical challenge by a West Ham player. I would say Jackson Porozo uh, did quite a lot to convince the referee with a quite theatric way of going down. It was a foul, but the way he simulated it, well, it did help his case not only to get a foul, but also get a yellow card for Mikhail Antonio. Absolute sensational at Karaiskaiki. The fans have not taken their seats since Costas Fortunis' goal. No one has sat down at the Karaiskaiki since Costas Fortunis' goal. Poroso is still on the ground. I don't understand why it wasn't that bad. Well, that, that challenge wasn't bad. Hopefully there's not going to be a change because Olympiacos need Poroso, need a healthy Poroso. Here comes the... Uh, Here comes the, 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 phys come the physios, and the fans are absolutely rocking. My seat is shaking. My seat is absolutely trembling with all the noise here from all the Olympiacos paper. The referee signaling at the Olympiacos bench. Not sure what it is. Oh, here comes the... Uh, I wonder if Poroso can play because here comes the card. Take him out, take him off, it seems. Well, of course, might have to make a change here. Although he is walking, the card is back out. Looks like I was wrong. This was a heavy challenge for Poroso. Thank God the referee had the, uh, had the wit to uh, book him with a yellow card. Last time in the last Europa League match, the Karaiskaki. Uh, Santiago Eze got elbowed in the face, his nose was busted open and the referee didn't even afford a foul, didn't even uh, award a foul on that. But that was then, this is now. Pascalak is now with a long ball. Poroso looks ready to come on, thankfully. There's uh, offside, another offside by El Capi. Not a great, uh, not a great game for El Capi. I reckon Jovetic should come on at some point. There's Kerrer. A good long ball there, cleared by Rezos, who keeps it alive only as far as he can, as he heads it out for a free throw for West Ham, that Kerrer is going to take, there's Paqueta, and he stopped by Mati Camara, who has been sensational, no foul, here comes Fortunis, Ayub El Capi on his right, Potenza on his left, and he gets there, and he does get there, Potenza does, he has a lot of space, he needs to finish this, he needs to finish this. He takes too long. A shot. And it's saved by Alfonso Areola. What a, what a play from Olympiacos. A lovely through ball by Costas Fortunis. And a lovely piece of dribble by Daniel Potence. But he took too long. Took too long. As we approach the 80th minute. Come on, Olympiacos. That would be a huge, huge victory for Olympiacos. But so much time for West Ham. A fantastic side, a sensational side West Ham are this season. Our, our true and real Premier League team West Ham are. There's a corner kick. There's a corner. There's it. Poroso. And looked like a goal from where I'm standing. But Poroso's header hit the side netting of Alfonso Areola. He would deserve a goal, a goal tonight, Poroso. He has been very good. A very, more than just a pleasant surprise. I need to find a better word. If anyone can, uh, on the comment section, you'd be doing me a huge favor. There's Emerson Palmieri. To Kerrer. Bowen. Back to Paqueta. Quite deep is Paqueta there. There's Bowen. Can't afford to leave him space, and if you can't let him score, uh, shoot, 
There's the through, through ball that Pascalakis picks up with ease. Pascalakis didn't really have to worry throughout the match except that fantastic uh, free kick by James Ward Prowse in the beginning of the second half. Quite an easy game so far for Pascalakis. David Moyes made the. Um, David Moyes took quite, made quite the gamble there by not starting uh, his key players on this one. Ayub El Kabi tries to put the ball down. There's uh, Boros, uh, there's a, uh, there's a clearance by Areola. Poroso passes it back to Pascalakis, and there's a foul on Camara. It seems in midfield. 80th minute at Karaiskaki, Olympiakos, West Ham, 2-0. Who would have thunk it before the match? I was completely pessimistic. Aris and I uh, were, had the honor of showing uh, of being invited to We Are West Ham podcast. Both of us claimed Olympiakos were going to lose. We Pew thought uh, West Ham were going to win. Labros also thought they were going to win, uh, that we were going to lose. Only Costa Levoyanis, only this fantastic, beautiful man believed in Olympiakos. Of course, his prediction was 3-1, but you know what? Good for him. Kudos to Costa. You got this right, my friend. And like I said, this could be the match in which Olympiacos clicked. And there's a yellow card for protesting on Eze, it seems. Can't afford to be picking up uh, silly yellow cards ahead of a very difficult game in London. Fortunis now, who looks set to finish this game, unless he comes off real late, like on in five minutes. That wouldn't be bad for Olympiaco, especially even if they don't have the creativity. Because from then on, it's all about not not giving away those three points. Corne is asking for the ball on the on the left, but still, it's Bowen who gets it on the right. So check. There's Cornet down the left, passing it back to Okbona, who's moved forward. West Ham are desperate for a goal in these final few minutes. But Mati Kamara picks it up. Got Potense on his left, Fortunis on his right, and he opts, opts for the latter. Fortunis finds Potense in midfield. Potense holds on to the ball. There's Kamara. Back to Porozo, who's under pressure by Antonio. Kini takes too long. He looks a little heavier to me today. Don't wanna, don't wanna blast him, blast the man. But seems a little, not as if he ate too much, but you know maybe too much time on the gym. There's so check, but Borroso clears it. There's Potence. He gives it away though to Paqueta. There's a Brazilian, but stopped by Eze, and Paqueta brings him down rather cynically. And remember, Paqueta has a yellow card. Quite a cynical challenge again from Paqueta, who's booked. Stopping the attack from Olympiacos as well. After the game, West Ham fans that have traveled to uh, Karaskaki will need to stay on their seats. We'll be, we'll, we'll be sitting in the away end for quite a while as they prepare the coach to take him to the Panathinaik Stadium in Athens. If uh, West Ham don't manage to equalize, well, I'm afraid those East London boys are going to be up for quite a bitter ale quite a bitter bitter pale ale tonight still a lot of time though for a team like west ham Maschalakis with a long ball fights el Kabi on the right no he does it there's the clearance from west ham mati camara and a double change from olivia because with masuras coming on and solbaken as well the roma the roma loni so fortunis is coming off and potencia i suppose it's going to be the, the change i suppose let's see Daniel Potenza getting a, a, a stunning standing ovation. There is a bit of a, a scuffle there. Ola Sol Baikin going to come on. Potenza is out. Alexandropoulos coming off. A fantastic game, Hachitiris Alexandropoulos, making a very strong case to be a starting midfielder. The lonely from Sporting Lisbon. Sporting Lisbon really believe in him. Very, I would doubt Olympiacos could sign him on a permanent deal because Sporting Lisbon believe in him and just wanted him to get some game time. Ola Solbaik and a fantastic player, as is Yorgos Basura, who's been on fire at Olympiacos and the Greek national team. 
Kini gonna get us underway. Gonna get us back underway, I should say. 85th minute, 2 0. Olympiakoso cannot afford to lose focus. Ayub El Kabi loses it. Kini tries to follow up. And that's a free throw for West Ham. Not Olympiakos. There's Mikhail Antonio who finds Bowen with a very long ball. Ah, it's too long. It goes out for a free throw. I don't believe I've seen a worse match uh, for West Ham this season than this one. I gotta say, this is probably West Ham's worst match so far this season. Ending their. And it seems, I dare say it, this is gonna end their 17 match unbeaten streak. And it's Olympiacos who do it. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable if this happens. 86 minutes. Ortega the free throw. West Ham win it again. Mavropanos clears it. Retsos with a the header. There's a mistake there. Antonio down the right. Gotta be careful there. Still Antonio with the cross. And uh, Kimi clears it with the... Oh, and this is quite a good, amazing goal by Lucas Paqueta. Kimi tried to clear it with the, with the head. That set up Lucas Paqueta with a fantastic finish just outside the, uh, the box. Incredible volley by Lucas Paqueta in the 87th minute, if I'm not mistaken. Cutting for Olympiacos. The last few minutes now, we're in the 87th minute. This is going to be hell for Olympiacos. Welcome to hell if you're an Olympiacos fan. This, is, this promises to be a hellacious final few minutes. Sol Baikin calls for the fans to start making noise. Tamara with a long ball towards Fortunis. I imagine West Ham are going to be leaving a lot of space behind them because they're going to be pushing for the second goal. But this is bad for Olympiacos right now. West Ham have plenty, plenty of time to not only equalize but turn this around. Can't afford any defensive mistakes, guys. This has been amazing so far. Panos Rezos now needs to clear it. And the referee calls in for, for the medical team again. There's a yellow card to Okpona for... for uh, for protest, medical team again in for Poroso after another hard challenge with Mikhail Antonio. 88th minute, David Moyes besides himself as that ruined uh, his team's tempo. We got a match with Karaiskaiki with that fantastic finish by Lucas Paqueta, the man that came just inches away from joining uh, Manchester City only for uh, some off field issues, mainly having to do with. Uh, betting uh, allegations stopping the transfer from taking place. Porozo is still down, hopefully nothing important, nothing serious, hopefully he'll be back in his feet, on his feet in no time. 88th, 88th minute, we're going to have quite some, uh, the start, quite, quite some stoppage time I, I'm afraid. I can imagine Diego Martinez making some changes to stop the, to, to stop the rhythm, to ruin the West Ham's rhythm. But Olympiacos need to keep a clear head, Olympiacos need to keep a clear head on this one. Porozo is back on his feet, thankfully. Christos Theos on the pitch. Theos, Theos. Theos, Theos means uh, God in Greek. He's called Theos. An absolutely amazing physician. As we approach the 90th minute here at Kareskaki, and you can cut the tension with a knife here. Mati Kamara trying to clear it, and there's a deflection. Retsos needs to be careful with that header right there. Retsos again. Still Retsos, and he takes it out for a free kick. And a, and a lucky fan is leaving with the match ball. Antonio is going to take this with a long ball. A long free throw is going to be. He's a strong, strong player. He can do this a la Iceland. There's Antonio. Can I look be clear? He does. Fortunis with a poor, with a poor touch there. Antonio. Another good, good piece of defending, El Capi cannot get to it. 90th minute, Kareskaiki. We're soon going to find out how many minutes of stoppage time will be added. Ah. A long ball from West Ham. Porozo again clears it. Amazing game by Porozo. Fortunis needs to be careful. He's caught from behind. Ogbona, Paqueta. 
And that is a poor pass. Poor pass to Cornet, but he holds on to it. There's Camara. Still Camara for Tunis. Camara for Tunis trying to, trying to go for the nutmeg. There, it doesn't work. Eight minutes of additional time to go. This is going to be wild, my friends. And there it is. Ayub El Kabi breaking on the right. He's on the right now. Plenty of space. And he takes it to the corner. Holds on to it. Holds on to the corner. Trying to get as much time as possible. Spend as much time as possible on the, on the, on the field. On the ball, I mean. Still Ayub El Kabi on the left. On the right, I mean, excuse me. Borozo needs to make sure he doesn't lose the ball there, and that's a foul, but that's okay. Kostas Fortunis can shoot it from there. Kostas Fortunis, she needs to shoot it. He needs to shoot. He has to shoot. He does, and he just misses. Areola's bottom left corner, and it's a free throw for West Ham. There's West Ham now with Kerrer on the right. Olympiakos needs need to, keep, to maintain. There's, there's Bowen moving in midfield. Finds Paqueta. They're always dangerous. Paqueta with a long ball there. There's Antonio. Trying to find Socek who can have the shot. He doesn't. He loses the ball. Paqueta. West Ham still with the ball. Loud boos in the stadium. From trying to play the mind games. Cornet. With Emerson. And there's Socek. Gotta be careful. Don't give the penalty away. Don't give the penalty away. Don't give the penalty away. Mati Camara clears it. Fortunis is chasing it. There's the long ball. Poroso clears it again. What a game Poroso has had. Ayub El Kabi holds on to the ball. Needs to pass it. That was a foul. And he awards the foul. And that is a yellow card. That is a second for Ogbonna, isn't it? No, he's not giving the yellow card. There is no yellow card. If, they, if he had awarded that yellow card, that would be a second. Long ball that goes nowhere. Only well, because need to be a little more careful with that. No, don't just throw the ball away like that. That's a yellow card to Masuras. Technical, te tactical uh, free kick there to break West Ham's rhythm. Eighth yellow card of the match. Wonder who's going to have a red card. Retzos trying to get the get. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Pascal likes to get the ball, and he does get to the ball. He does get to the ball, and he falls down on the, on the grass because we need that right now. Oh Lord, is this the night? Is this the night where West Ham's unbeaten streak in Europe, 17 match unbeaten streak, comes to an end? Is this the match? Still plenty of time for West Ham to actually equalize. Not enough time to win, I suppose. Volley. Okbona gets the header. Sol Baikin. With the, with the marking, and that's a foul for West Ham. And uh, Martin, and uh, there's going to be a double change from uh, Martinez with Gustavo Scarpa coming on. Fuerz Luisian, it's Esteban Jovetic down there. Ayub El Capio for uh, Stefan Jovetic. Hey! West Ham are playing while the change is still happening. Yeah, come on, ref. Of course the referee will stop the game. I mean, come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on, Western. Come on. Really? Really? And here we go. Costas Fortunis with a standing ovation that he absolutely deserves. Well, the Piacos need to hold on. Need to hold on now with West Ham pushing forward now for that equalizer, that late equalizer. Fortunis is still not off the pitch. He's coming off now. Oof. You can cut this tension with a knife, folks. There's a long ball by Areola. There's a clearance by Masuras. And there it is. Will they lose the ball? No, they won't. 
almost dispossessed by by Scarpa, the fresh Scarpa, right off the bench, Gustavo Scarpa. Jovetic, and there is West Ham now, with a long ball down the left where Corne is. But that is a very heavy touch. Kini needs to get the free kick, and he does. Fantastic defending by Kini. What is Antonio doing now? He's trying to get the ball down as quickly as possible. But no luck there. Sorry, Mikhail. No luck there, my friend. Paschalakis with a long ball. There's a foul from Olympiacos, but no, it's not a foul, actually. Jovetic holds on to it and throws the ball forward to absolutely no one. Areola now, playing it quickly. West Ham want to move forward quickly. There's Okbona to Paqueta. It's quite deep, quite deep in this match. Quite deep. Forward to Mikhail Antonio. Poroso. There's Bowen. Need to be careful. Do not give away a penalty at this stage. There's Rexos. Fantastic defending. And there is Olympiakos Jovetic with a very heavy touch there from a very good pass by Scarpa. How many times have we said that this season? Could this be? And there, it is. there is a header and it's out for a free kick. One more minute to go. One more minute to go here at Kareskaki and you can cut this tension with a knife. It seems that we have an injury there. Is that? No, it's not Scarpa. Who is it? I cannot tell. Is it Poroso again? I think it's Poroso again. I think that's Poroso again. Yes, it is Poroso. Will be interesting to find out later on in the press conference how Poroso is doing. It will be such a shame if Olympiacos uh, don't win this one. This has been a near perfect game for the mighty Olympiacos in this one. Paschalakis is now hitting it wide. Who's there? Who's there? No one is there. And that's a free throw for Olympiacos. Kini now with a free throw. Sol Baikin. Jovetic, and I think that that is a free throw for West Ham. Ah. That should be the end of the match now, but there's a yellow card coming. For whom? Yellow card to whom? To a member of the Olympiacos bench. I cannot tell who. Yellow card to a member of the Olympiacos bench. Surely the referee needs to, uh, to, to, to call it. Real soon. There's a yellow card from Antonio. Yellow A. There's a handball from Antonio, actually. Antonio is very frustrated in this game. Very frustrating performance by Mikhail Antonio. Very frustrating performance. Who's going to take this one? I suppose that's going to be Mati Camara. Or is it going to be Gustavo Scarpa? Olympiacos taking it easy here, of course. Surely that's going to be the final attack of the match. And there it goes down to the corner. Olympiacos still with the ball. Sol Baikin, Masuras. Masuras, and that's it! Olympiacos! Olympiacos have just ended West Ham's 17 match undefeated streak in Europe. It is Olympiacos who did that. Olympiacos, the team that couldn't beat Matska Topo like Serbia, but beat the mighty West Ham at Georgios Karaiskakis. What a performance! Costas Fortunis with the performance of a lifetime here at Karaiskaki. Mati Kamara back to his best. Panos Retsos in Taksho Poroso. Proving that they can be the ones, they can be the ones to, to, to be the centre back pair at Olympiacos this season. Great performance by Rodine. Very, very bad decision by David Moyes to start uh, with his seconds, to, to, to bench his key players for this one. I, I really, really believe he underestimated Olympiacos on this one. So Olympiacos West Ham 2 1. Olympiacos opened the scoring 
after 33 minutes with a fantastic shot by Costas Fortunis and doubled the lead with a Rodine in the second minute of stoppage time. It wasn't, I don't think that goal actually was Rodine's, that was a bonus on goal. I do, I do, I do apologize for that. And uh, Lucas Paqueta silenced, almost silenced the Kaneskaki, almost silenced with that fantastic volley on the 80, in the 87th minute. Absolutely fantastic result. Olympiacos are back in the game now with four points in the uh, in the Europa League uh, group. Two points behind uh, West Ham. And what is a magical, magical performance from Olympiacos. Freiburg won. Freiburg managed to turn things around, which is good for Olympiacos. Because now Olympiacos is like they are slowly, slowly uh, sealing third place. Still a long way to go, though, but Olympiacos are making a strong case for third place now after Batska Topola lost 3 1 to Freiburg at home. So the way the table now looks is West Ham are ahead with six points, as are Freiburg. Those, that's the top two. Olympiacos third with four points behind those two. Two points behind those two, excuse me. Batska Topola last with that one point to grab Serbia from us. And what is going on here? Let me tell you what's going on here. The Olympiacos players approaching gate seven, Firaifta clapping at them and they are receiving a thunderous, very warm applause from a very, very warm applause from the fans and they absolutely deserve it. What a fantastic performance. Celebrations all around here. Celebrations all around here at Kareskaki. And how, how well deserved, how well deserved this is for Olympiacos. Absolutely well deserved. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done to Costa Levoyani. For, 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 for predicting this. And guess what, guys? The OM of Greece have just beaten one of the most informed Premier League teams. The OM of Greece have done it. Take that, Labro. Take that, Martial. Olympiacos are here. Olympiacos, that's what I said. This comes and goes. There are ups and downs. Olympiacos, they are picking themselves up from their second worst season since Petri Nachronia. And by God, they are showing that they are building something very, very strong in front of us. Very strong in front of us, very promising. Yesterday we thought Olympiacos probably not even make the conference. Now we're back to thinking Olympiacos could make it to the to the to, to, to the to, to, to the last 32 of the Europa League. That is all from me guys. Costas Llanos or Costa with a K if you prefer. Let me close that PowerPoint here for you. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been an amazing night. Surely, surely a night to remember for all of us. I thank you so much for all of your support. Do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to subscribe and like. This really helps the channel. Do, do spread the word and don't forget to sign up for Patreon. A big thank you to the Patreon members for, for joining us. And I don't think there's anything left to say other than Olympiacos 2, West Ham 1. Olympiacos, West Ham have lost their first match, in seven, the first European match. 17 attempts. This was Costas Llanos from Gate 7 International. Have a great, great night. Yeah,